Well, we've got a skill shortage that very clearly is something that we haven't seen for a very long time. We have borders that are closed, but we do have travel ban exemptions and we've got clients screaming for candidates. So how do you make sense of all of that? Now, my name's Greg Holmson from the Philippines Recruitment Company, and I am not a migration agent, so I cannot give migration advice, but I can give you an understanding of where I see we are at at the moment and the action that our clients need to consider taking. So when we look at the publicity that we've been getting in the skills shortage, even over the last few weeks, every single day there is a new article about the skills shortage and how the government are even saying themselves that we need skills from overseas to fuel our economy. It's going to create more jobs inside the country if we can get the skills from outside in. Now, the borders are closed, you say. However, we do have the ability to apply for travel ban exemptions. There are thousands of people landing in the country every week under travel exemptions. So this is where we have ourselves been able to get people in, but not everyone is getting that approved. So what do we do here? Do we wait until we know the borders are open? Clearly we're looking at 12 months. Or do we start a process now that gives us a chance of being ready for when we can get a travel exemption? Because again, we're not waiting for borders to open to bring workers in, we need travel ban exemptions. And there's more coming. And when the government recognises the fact that we need immigration to help fuel our economy, that will help to open up even more travel exemptions that we're seeing today. So I'm saying very, very clearly, it's a six month process anyway to get someone into the country. The longer we leave it, the longer the process is going to take because the more activity we're seeing. Now we have never been as busy as what we are today. We've never written out so many engagement notices than we do, than we have this month, than ever. And I've been doing this for 10 years. So all of these time frames are going to get pushed out. We're still saying six months at this point in time. And I'd just love to tell you also, the quality of applicants that we're seeing out of the Philippines is exceptional. They've all gone home and they haven't all been deployed to other areas around the world. So we've got access to good quality candidates right now and I say get the process started if you want to be able to see people in this country I believe still this year anything later than now and it will be next year and I don't know when but we are getting travel ban exemptions and I believe we will continue to get them and they will be more freely flowing as the country needs them we are being vaccinated we're also looking at having our candidates vaccinated. So there are genuine opportunities of bringing people from outside our pool into the country. Again, my name's Greg Holmson from the Philippines Recruitment Company. Please feel free to shoot back a message. I'm happy to have this discussion with anyone that wants to and don't hesitate, please. Thanks very much for listening.